Hello, welcome to my presentation for IMDF 2022. I'm Francis Tian from Hongdi. Today, I'll be presenting my PhD research on the single-cell transcriptional profiling from metastatic colorectal cancer, in which we discovered multiple circulating tumor cell clusters and their differentially expressed genes. This project is supervised by associate professor Dr. Nur Shakima and Dr. Nadia. This is the outline of the presentation. Colorectal cancer, or CRC, is a type of cancer that originates from the polyps on the inner walls of the intestines. According to Global Cancer Statistics 2020, CRC was the third most common cancer diagnosed and the top two causes of cancer-related mortality. In Malaysia, CRC is the second leading cause of cancer in both sexes, representing the most prevalent cancer in Malaysian males and ranked second in Malaysian females. Despite advancement in cancer treatment strategies, chemotherapy-based treatments remain limited, especially in metastatic patients. Metastasis remains a challenge, and among the reasons are the presence of circulating tumor cells, also known as CTCs, and intratumoral terogeneity (ITH). CTC are tumor-derived cells that travel through the bloodstream and establish the seat for subsequent metastasis in distant organs. They are also believed to provide a snapshot of tumor heterogeneity. On the other hand, ITH exists among CTCs, resulting in ineffective treatment and relapse of CRC. One of the powerful tools to study ITH among CTC is single-cell RNA sequencing. Nevertheless, there is still a lack of substantial evidence on CTC and single-cell RNA seed in MCRC. The only study by Kojuka et al. last year managed to identify three CTC clusters from 59 single CTCs based on the phenotypic frequency. There are no further downstream analyses such as identification of differentially expressed genes and powerful analyses due to the relatively low number of CTC obtained and the rarity of CTC in the blood. As such, the integrated approach of using single cell analysis in CTC could lead to the establishment of a novel tool for metastatic biomarker discovery using liquid biopsy that will eventually allow the division of personalized medications. The main objective is to perform an in depth conversation of CTC in metastatic cord cancer MCRC, via single cell mRNA sequencing. There are four specific objectives namely profiling of self-surface markers, antibody-free enrichment from archived specimen, identification of the differentially expressed genes and the pathways regulated in CTC from MCRC. We hypothesize that intratumoral heterogeneity is present within CTC from MCRC. There are five phases in my study. Phase one is a sample collection stage where we have selected 36 primary CRC and 24 MCRC. Phase 2, profiling of CTC markers answers the objective 1. Phase 3 addresses the objective 2, which is the isolation and enrichment of CTCs. Phase 4 involves single cell sorting of CTC, followed by single cell RNA sequencing. The last two objectives are fulfilled in Phase 5 bioinformatics analysis. First, 36 primary CRC and 24 MCRC Malaysian patients of all ages who have serum and peripheral blood mononucleated cells (PBMC) samples that were accessible in the biobank UMBI were chosen. Serum samples of the 60 CRC patients were collected and underwent milliplex map human circulating cancer biomarker magnetic beads panel 4 25 sample with the highest CTC markers. Based on the result, 13 MCRC patients were selected for CTC enrichment. Next, negative enrichment was performed for CTC isolation. An optimization was performed with spike HCT016 CRC cell line and obtained more than 80% for both capture efficiency and enrichment efficiency. After that, 10 microlit of PBMC samples from each 13 MCRC patients were pulled together and stand with AppCam provided that the presence of CTC under the fluorescence microscope. The figures shown above are from two sets of images 
capture to validate the purity of CTC suspension after negative enrichment. Cells that are stand green with fixed conjugated APCAM are confirmed as CTC and are indicated by the red circles, whereas unstand cells with blue circles might be unhealthy cells or immune cells. We estimated that more than 80% of the enriched cells are CTCs. BD Rhapsody was selected to sort single CTCs. The whole transcriptomics analysis WTA amplification kit was chosen. The BD Rhapsody single cell analysis system enabled real time viewing and quantification of every step. We could identify the number of cells and multiplex rate based on the images captured. The red circles shows a single CTC in the microwell, whereas the blue circles denotes microwells with more than one CTC. Quantitatively, we could count the number of cells and bits that were loaded into the cartridge. For example, we obtained 4,410 wells with 4,505 viable CTC. After washing to remove excess bits or cells not in the wells, 2,005 viable cells remain in 1,986 wells. In the end, we obtained 1,000 857 single CTC with 0.9% cell multiplex rate. The low multiplex rate proved that BDRSOD is excellent in single cell sorting. The GIF image on the right shows how the cells are loaded into the BDRSOD single cell analysis cartridge. This graph shows the final WTA library where quality control was performed for identified concentration using qubit and the peaks and sizes of libraries using Bionalyzer. Briefly, we obtained a WTA library of 7.58 nanogram per microlit with an average speed of around 400 base pace. The bottom figure shows the final library structure, where RIG1 consists of CLS123 and UMI unique molecular index. These are the barcode information necessary for single CTC application. RIG2 consists of cDNA that is our gene of interest. Next, we perform next generation sequencing using NextSeq. From the sequencing run, we obtain a high cluster passing filter of more than 90%. The Q30 is 67%, slightly lower than estimated value of over 75%. However, at 33.5 gig, the estimated yield is acceptable. Upon checking the entire run matrix and output data, there is no pipetting error as a fight's control of 20.67% matches the spiking amount of 20%. Overall, we have 130 million rigs of 88 million rigs for 1,857 CTCs. The BCL files from NextSeq were converted into FastQ files via BCL to FastQ version 2 software. Two analysis tools are used in this step, namely Seven Bridges and Decarious which is based on Sirura. Seven bridges allow the multiplexing of CTCs into single CTCs based on single cell information and alignment, whereas Icarus is a web server that features various types of under control, labeling, clustering, and differential gene analysis. We have around 111 million rigs as shown by the trim rigs. Due to the overlap readings, short rigs, and poor base quality rigs, 35% of them are filtered away. After that, 5x rigs are removed. Around 46% of the rigs are aligned to cell label. The R1, R2 measurements are aligned with 15% matches. 34% of the remaining rigs match the annotated transcriptome. The sequencing depth is excellent at 17 with a sequencing saturation of 97%. Finally, 507 single cells produce high quality rigs with a mean rig count of roughly 15,000 and median rigs of 8,000. The median molecule per cells is 338, hence each cell should have around 338 mRNA. The final sequencing rigs are deemed adequate for shallow sequencing. Next, Icarus allows user to execute quality control step to eliminate low quality cells caused by cell damage, systemic mistake in library preparation during PCR application or reverse transition errors. The first graph on the left depicts the number of unique genes per cell, while the second graph on the right shows the number of molecules detected per cell. 
cells with higher unique gene count and molecules might possibly be multiplex. The lower graphs represent the percentage of mitochondria and ribosomal genes present in CTCs. This table shows the percentage of mitochondria gene selection for CTC of high quality risks. In summary, CTC from different cancer express different threshold, and there's only one publication of mitochondria gene percentage in CRC, but it was not specific to CTCs. Therefore, we decided to set a maximum threshold for mitochondria gene percentage since CTC are in a high replicative state and mostly involved in metastasis. It makes sense that CTCs have higher mitochondria gene percentage since they assert tumor promoting rules, promote cell proliferation, inhibit apoptosis, and facilitate metastasis. Icarus incorporates the doublet finder to detect and remove doublets. The yellow color represents the CTC with true single cell RNA seq data whereas the green color indicates the doublets. The identified doublets are then removed based on the care nearest neighbor graph with the highest proximity score. The result of 10 was in line with the doublet percentage calculated by bd D single cell analysis run. It shows that bd D system is excellent at sorting single cell and identify the multiplex rate. Next, dimensionality reduction was performed. The variable features plot on the left showcase the top variable genes in the data set, and these are the nine top variable genes identified. The dimension reduction heat map is seen on the right. It shows cells and genes by the DR score and visualizes sources of heterogeneity within the data set. Following this, a data correction step was carried out to remove the cell cycle effect since clustering might be formed largely due to cell cycle step rather than differences in underlying biology. This step allows regression of cell cycle genes via removing the expression of cell cycle phases canonical markers. It provides the corrected data more representative of the experiment and prevent heterogeneity within one CTC cluster. Surprisingly, our data showed that the cell cycle impact had little influence on clustering since more CTC with distinct cell cycle phases are scattered uniformly across the UMAT graph. With Icarus, we managed to identify six CTC clusters. The most significant differentially expressed genes or DEGs were identified between CTC cluster 5 and 1 with a significant upregulation of MALAT1 on the left table. The right table shows the gene set arrangement between the two CTC clusters related to protein formation. This table shows five comparisons between CTC clusters with top three significant DEGs. For example, a comparison between cluster 4 and 1 reveals four significant DEGs, including SLC4A1 and BCL2L1, which are involved in CRC proliferation, cell cycle, and apoptosis regulation. Interestingly, comparing CTC cluster 5 and 3 reveals PRRC2C gene, which has not been studied in CRC but is involved in alternative splicing in lung cancer progression. Overall, the EG analysis between CTC clusters reveal distinct genes related to CRC growth, proliferation, migration, and metastasis, implying the presence of ITH within CTC from MCRC. I would like to discuss briefly MALA1, which was repeatedly identified as one of the most significant DEGs among various clusters comparison. MALA1 was originally identified as a prognostic marker of lung cancer metastasis. It was identified as a P10 tumor suppressor target and targeted numerous CRC related pathways. Although MALA1 is upregulated in CRC and facilitates carcinogenesis, there is no study on CTC. Upregulation of MALA1 is observed in CTC from breast cancer and correlates with the aggressive states and bad prognosis. In conclusion, we successfully profiled cell surface markers of CTC, performed CTC enrichment, identified six CTC clusters and DEGs between them as well as pathway analysis. In the end, we proved that intratumoral heterogeneity is present in CTC from MCRC. Before I end my presentation, I would like to thank everyone who have helped and supported me during my PhD journey. Thank you to my main supervisor, Ashwet Prof. Dr. Nuru Shakima, and co-supervisor, Dr. Nadia, UKM, and Ministry of Higher Education for providing research grants, Umbi Biobanking, Juan Shraini for assisting with the Luminex essay, Biomed Global for assisting with the BD Rossody single cell analysis and library creation, and Injet Lukman for assisting in the next seek. With this, I end my presentation. Thank you. These are the list of references.